What's up, Eagles fans? Welcome inside the film room presented by Wawa. I'm Fran Duffy, joined by Eagles offensive coordinator Shane Steichen. Coach, welcome into the studio. Appreciate you having me. All right, well, let's take a look at some of the, the big additions on offense over these last few weeks, and we'll start uh, with one of the Eagles' first-round picks, essentially, in this draft, and that's uh, former Tennessee Titans wide receiver A.J. Brown. T tell us, I guess, before you found out uh, that he was going to be traded, what was your feel on A.J. Brown, the player? I mean, I'm sure you studied him coming out of college. The one biggest thing that stands about this guy, this guy's relentless. Um, he's hard to tackle. Yeah. He's an explosive player. He's got great play strength. Um, he's a heck of a player. He's had two seasons of 1,000 yards, yeah. almost had another one for 1,000 uh, this past year. Uh, hell of a get for us. And we're going to see some of that play strength here uh, on some of these clips. Well, take us through what we see here on the first one. He's down at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, this first one right here, he's just going to run a six-step slant coming over the middle. So if you let it play, you can see right here him just coming out of the break, right, sticking his foot in the ground and then coming flat out of the thing. And then him extending his hands on this catch, knowing that there's a safety in the middle, right? And then that just shows his fearlessness. He knows there's a guy there, right, but he's going to make this catch. And then again, talked about, right, he's hard to tackle. When you watch this guy on tape, it's over and over again that he's hard to tackle, right? He usually makes the first guy miss, and then you can see the explosiveness after that, and then a little shake there, stick his foot in the ground, and then get up the field to create the explosive plays. The big thing about A.J. is his yak is very impressive, and it shows up over and over on tape. I love guys that can play through contact, like with and without the ball, and it shows up, like you said, every single time with him. This one just, I had to put this play in here. It was one of my favorite plays down in the red zone. We see a lot of the same things. Yeah, no doubt. This Again, this is just a slant up top for him running a slant in the red zone. So if you let it play right here, but you can just see, again, the fearlessness, right? The yak, right? Again, here's another guy coming to try to make a tackle. Boom, he makes the first guy mix. And then the second guy tries to make a tackle. He breaks that tackle. Then the third guy tries to make a tackle. Then the fourth guy. <laughs> and then he gets some help from his buddy. But you can see that it just shows up over and over and over again. And that's the mentality we want here at Philadelphia. And he's going to bring that to us. Coach, this probably back to like working in college football. Because this is like what you see in high school. You oh, don't there, see this in the NFL. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. And again, like I said, it shows up over and over again on tape. And that's why he's one of the best in the NFL. And one of the other things I like about AJ is that a lot of the little things that you look for at the wide receiver position yeah. show up. And this isn't like a sexy play. This is a 10-yard catch on a slant. But yeah. take us through what he does to beat press here. Yeah, so again, you just saw the ones versus off. But now he's got a press corner on him right here. And again, you can see the release, right? He opens this DB's hips open with this outside release. He gets the DB to open his hips right there. And then again, there's the play strength that shows up, right? He used the hand swipe to get him off, and you can see the separation right there. You got about two to three yards of separation on press, him coming in there, winning on that slant. And again, it's one-on-one -on -one with the safety. These guys don't want to tackle him in space. Uh, again, when you see him get tackled, it's usually right down low, right? It's hard to tackle this guy up high because he's so powerful. You can see even after he catches, he's got his eyes upfield and he's leaning into it. He's looking to, to inflict some punishment. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. When he gets his, like when he gets out in open space, right, he's like a running back, right? Guys don't want to tackle this guy. And then we'll, let's just take a look at uh, one vertical. I've seen three slants, but yeah. obviously a guy that can be a factor down the field as well. Yeah, no doubt about it. Right here, this is just an inside fade by A.J. versus press man-to-man. -man. You can see if you let it play here, right, he just gives a little hesitation off the line of scrimmage right here, right? That DB backs up, and then boom, now it's just a race, right? Now it's just a race to that red line, right? We have this invisible red line right here that we practice with. It's a race to that red line right there, and it's one-on-one. -on -one. Great throw by the quarterback here, but again, it's that relentless effort, right? He does, never wants to be denied, and then he reaches for that end zone and gets in for a huge play right there for a touchdown. And that's, the, again, that play-through contact deal where at the right at the very last minute before the catch, you can see the DB makes contact, but he's not phased. He's able to hold that red line. Yeah, no doubt about it. And then you really, I mean, it almost looks like he caught that thing with his left arm, right? It looks like a one-handed catch, and then he gets the other hand on it. And then, again, he's so strong and powerful to just carry that defender into the end zone. A guy that has made a number of highlights over the course of his career. Looking forward to seeing more of that here in Philadelphia. Let's get into some of these rookies here, Coach. We'll start with uh, tight end Grant Calcaterra. Uh, yeah. What have you seen from him on film? Yeah, Grant's been great. He's a really polished rookie route runner, right? Obviously played at Oklahoma and then he took the year off and then came back to SMU and then he made great strides at SMU and that's what really caught our eye is his route running ability. So like on this first play right here, you can see he's going to be running a deep over, right? Coming here right here on this deep over for an explosive play and what he does well is he sticks right there and then he creates that leverage on that defender right there and then creates some separation, all right, as he's going through there. All right, you can see the speed right there. And then again, the extension, right, and to pluck that ball out of the air and to create that explosive play. You can see his catch radius, right? Heck of a play right there by him on that. 
A guy that can beat man coverage. I mean, he did that. That was third and uh, third and a mile versus two man coverage. That ability to create that separation yeah. is big. Yeah, yeah. There's no doubt, doubt about it. When you get into a tight end that's explosive like he is down the field, it's obviously going to help your offense. And obviously, everybody talks about tight ends in the red zone and their ability to go, kind of go up and win. He's yeah. got the ability to win with the ball in his hands too. Oh, there's no doubt about it. I mean, you can see on this one, right? He's just running basically what we call a little pivot over the ball right here. All right, they're in a blitz zero defense on this one. But again, you can see the catch here, and then it's one-on-one, -on -one, right, with this defender in space. And then you can see his change of direction of him being able to stick his foot in the ground, make a guy miss, all right, right there, and then get in the end zone for a big play. He's been doing that since his freshman year at Oklahoma. Absolutely. Uh, it's showed that ability uh, to do that at such a young age. Let's now go to the offensive line now. I want to keep the two pass catchers together. Let's go now go to second-round pick Cam Jurgens from Nebraska. Uh, first impression uh, of Cam. I, I love everything about this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to fit in great with our room, all right, with the rest of those rooms. He's tough, right? He's athletic. He can move. He's big. He's fast. Everything you look for an offensive lineman, this guy embodies that. Um, so you can see on this first play right here, he's just in pass, bro, but you can see the power and the strength and the leverage he plays with right here. He gets his hands inside the defender, right? The guy can't do anything. He's got him. He's got him locked down right there. That's a heck of a job by him keeping a great base, all right, and keeping that guy locked down. Yeah, and pass pro, there, there's so many different ways that he was used. There were a lot of protections where he's used as a puller backside, and there are all different kind of ways. When you have a unique skill set, you can be used in unique ways. There's no doubt about it. When you have his athletic ability, right, and then to learn from a guy like Jason Kelsey, who's one of the best in the NFL, I mean, it's a great fit for us. And then you get into the run game aspect. The power uh, with this guy is just really, really fun. Yeah, his power, his power coming off the ball right right here you'll see this he's working a double team right here on this shade nose with the left guard but you can see the explosiveness off the ball and the pad level you can see the drive right there with those two guys right just pushing that guy five yards down the field and then coming off to the second level that's what really impressed me with him is coming off the ball, way, the way he moves and comes off the ball to the second level uh, is very rare. And something you talked about with AJ is like after contact, that explosiveness, and he's he able to show that obviously a much different position, but you're talking about some of those similar traits. There's no doubt about it. I mean, this guy's the whole package. We're excited to have him. And again, like I said, he gets to learn from one of the best in, in Kelsey, and uh, we're, we're, we're really fired up to have him. Uh, so fans, you don't necessarily get to always see like the, the good pass protection. You don't always get to see the, the run blocks, especially on one that goes away. But the screen game, everybody gets yeah. excited about it, and that's something that he excels at. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. We talked about the athletic ability early uh, in the segment, but you can see this is a screen where he's getting out in open space, but you can see the speed. You can see the speed right here by 51, Cam getting out in space. I mean, this guy played tight end to start his career, and then you can see it show up on tape over and over again. I mean, this guy's, I don't know, 25, 35, 40 yards down the field, and he's finishing. He ain't stopping. This guy's relentless in everything he does, and we're fired up about him. That's something that we always seen from Jason Kelsey and a number of the Eagles offensive linemen is that, that relentless drive to finish plays and camp that drips off the film with him. There's no doubt about it. I mean, like I said, all three of those guys we just talked about, we're fired up to have them. They're going to be great additions to our offense. Well, Coach, thanks so much for joining us here in the film room presented by Wawa. Excited to see these guys in Eagles green here this fall.